<laughs> and we are here. What's We're up, here. y'all? What up, everybody? Welcome to the Boys What's going Cereal on? Club. Mm. Boys Cereal Club tonight. Damn right, yeah, we're at, we're enjoying ourselves a little bowl of the white stuff with the uh, fritter. Mm. What is yep, this, uh, right. Boy Serial Club episode sixteen? I think it's eighteen, bro. Holy shit, baby! Mm. Congratulations. Pull up, pour a bowl of cereal for yourselves while you're while you're watching this, shooters. Might I recommend Join some us. grocery store brand raisin bran? Mm. That's the, fre- tasty. the fresh time raisin bran. It's a good shit. Uh-huh. Fresh Time is the only grocery store manager that could assure me that COVID virus is not welcomed inside. Uh, when I confronted <laughs> the Kroger manager, he could not give me that definite answer. But the Fresh Time no. manager definitely told me, yeah, COVID, they're not welcomed here. We don't let them in. Bro, I went there the other day, and, like, they actually have a scanner now. I don't know how long it's been since you've been there, but I went there, like, what, maybe Friday, Friday afternoon? And they actually have a scanner now. And I don't know how they're, they're able to detect it. But um, what I do know is I saw a very frightened 65-year-old man being dragged by the collar to the back. Yeah. The Whoa. Establishment. I don't want to, you know, spice up any conspiracies here, but uh, yikes, y'all. <laughs> Big yikes there, you know what, what I'm you, saying? What sounds like the happened? place I want to shop. I think they're eradicating the, the COVID one way or another. Oh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? By hook oh, you or know by what? crook. You know what I'm saying? I, I pulled up to Home Depot the other day, and there was a bunch of coronavirus outside that, a, like, a pickup truck. Just They all jumped in the back of the pickup truck to go off to work at some construction site. If you want to... If you want to make a quick, like, I don't know, $150,000, just... um. Get a contact with the manufacturing plant in China to make uh, inflatable COVID-19 shaped pool toys. Uh, they'll be a very big hit on the beaches mm. uh, all, all this summer. You know what? They should start making cereal with COVID berries, <laughs> like the little, like little shaped ones you can get. We'll get you here. This would be great. Sure. So you guys are saying cash in on this on the ground floor. Yeah. Absolutely. Need to merchandise. Okay. We're capitalists. Google before it was named Google, is what you're saying. Absolutely. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Buy stock in AIDS. Yeah. I mean, first we get in with like uh, with like Captain Crunch. So we got Captain Crunch with COVID berries, and then you've got just the COVID berries. <laughs> I did. I did call my accountant to try and buy stock in COVID. Uh, he told hmm. me that's not exactly like how that works. Yeah, <laughs> Damn. he'd be making a killing right now. I know. Oh, oh no. Hey, uh, Mr. Penn, like, I understand that this Bitcoin thing didn't really pan out the way I wanted to. What about this COVID stuff? Are you talking what? to Cal, Cal Penn? Uh, my, <laughs> I don't want to, I don't want to say his name out here. All right. Whoo. I just got a bite of some crystallized ginger for these shooters. You got to know I'm eating ginger, almond, cashew, granola cereal. And who I just got a bite of some of that ginger and spice oh baby I'm, i like I'm, a nice i'm gonna have meat. a i'm gonna have a real problem on my hands uh because i feel my teeth rotting out now like it's no longer yeah. just something that you know I, i'm like nah my, my teeth are fine and i just ignore it like now if like anything sweet touches my teeth it's like a crippling pain you're oh on God. The, you're on the cusp of a dental emergency yeah i'm, I'm getting there i think that right, um Ain't no dentist climbing into our mouths. Not right now. I don't think, yeah, no. My doc, my dentist, like, sent me, uh, like, an email saying that all of his offices were closing. And I was like, finally, you monstrous son of a bitch, you fucking (laughs) psychopath. (laughs) We got one, buddy. The guy, I got big motherfucking hands. This guy's hands are three times the size of my hands. (laughs) He was able to rip my wisdom teeth out. Granted, I was on the nitrous, so it's all a little shaky. But from what I remember, he came from heaven and ripped them out with his fucking bare hands. Straight from heaven, huh? Straight from motherfucking heaven. <laughs> white, white wings and everything. Damn. Did he? Did he? Did, did the angel crack your lip? <laughs> did you wake up? Were your pants undone? Oh. Yeah. He he let Yikes. he let me he let me have an extra fifteen minutes with the nitrous if you could suck my dick while while he you know after <laughs> a, after the extraction I said eh. 
Nah, I thought like, I was gonna any, die here, so yeah, that's fine. You have Fair's any, fair, baby. Fair's you gotta fair. listen to you gotta listen to fish on cassette if you're gonna be doing that. Yeah, <laughs> I will. I will suck your dick if I can hear all of uh, all of uh, the the Gula papyrus. <laughs> I don't. I don't even fucking know. My I'm more of a used crack like rear view kind of man. You know what I mean? I like it a little more. I like it a little more polished. Yeah. I want it sold to me, baby. I want right. it sold to me. I don't want 13 minute versions of it. You know what I'm saying? I don't like that shit. That bugs me. No. I was a- I was actually listening to like uh like really shitty folk punk music as like he was extracting my teeth. Oh God! Wait, how how's that? You have, like headphones on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I brought my uh my, my phone with me and I had my earbuds in because I just couldn't feign the sound of the dentistry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm th- like I I didn't go to the dentist for almost ten fucking years, and then my my girlfriend forced me to go, and like good woman, I I made her come into the the back room with me when they went to clean my teeth because I didn't trust them, and the second the nurse or the dental hygienist or whatever the fuck these people call themselves sat me down in the chair, I laid back, and the first thing out of my mouth was, look, first things first. I don't trust you people. <laughs> and the was like, quiet, quiet. And I was like, no, they need to know that I don't fucking trust them. So don't even try any funny business fucking shit. And then they brought out the deep rider, said I had gum disease, hurt like mother, motherfucking hell. I told them, no, no more of that. You will use Yikes. a fucking hook, a fish hook like they used to do in the 30s. None of this fucking water laser bullshit on me. Hell fucking no. <laughs> is that the one that rattled your gums with the vibrations? Yup. I, I hear I'm, horror stories, brother. I told, I I told her the to book. shove it in her pussy. I said, debride your fucking pussy. Get that out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> but preferably, preferably have it in my mouth first before it being in your <laughs> pussy and then my mouth. Preferably. Uh, I don't know. I go I to like, the mongoloid dentist. That's what they, they call it. I, I thought it was like, you know, um, special needs you know for yeah. for for real scaredy cats sure right. And, uh, right on the outside they're like oh yeah mongoloids and cowards welcome <laughs> and that's on their light up sign out it front. says mongoloids and cowards dds Mon- mm-hmm. <laughs> they, and they, so they i'm pull- like well i can check both <laughs> those boxes so uh, <laughs> let me- they, they pulled a newly unemployed assistant manager at gamestop out uh in a gorilla costume to spin the sign cowards welcome out front <laughs> mm-hmm. who's also coincidentally the uh the dental surgeon there so he's he's getting the cust he's bringing the customers in with the sign sure working on them after he, he while he still has the gorilla suit on sure, okay, he's still he's still TV taking TV pre-trades for a hundred dollars <laughs> And a couple of uh, copies of FIFA from 2018. Right. I'm in, baby. I'm in. That's the cheapest dental work you're going to get. I, yeah, I, would, a- I would be more inclined to go to the dentist if I could bring like a PS3 and my Wii U system and, you know, knock off 300 bucks, 200 bucks. Uh, like 37 cents, bro. Hey, 37 we got cents, room uh, to haggle. No. <laughs> I walk in in a little aisle. fucking jumpsuit with no shirt underneath. The guy's going to know I've been around the block a little bit. I'm a little hot to trotto and shit. Right. Is that is that jacket reversible? I'm sorry. Huh? Oh, no. Is that reversible? Oh, no, no it's not. Okay. Damn. Damn. <laughs> you owe me a Coke. Right. You owe me some Coke. Hold on. <laughs> I'll go get you a, a diet. Dr. Pepper out of the fridge. I've never had one of these before, baby. This what? is what you stocked up on some uh, some Dr. DP. I'm diet, baby. I'm sure it's gonna go good, real good with the milk that I just uh, mm, ate. Sure. You know, all sounds this delicious. So, are you? Do you plan on replacing cigarettes with with milk and Dr. DP? You got diet. it, baby. You got diet, it. So diet far, so DP. Milk, diet milk. Dr. DP. <laughs> they say they say replacing <laughs> nicotine with aspartame is really the way to go. Yeah. Oh yeah. Nope. Oh, I think so. I had, far, a, I had a so good, fellas. Let me tell you. <laughs> I had a cousin. I that feel was, this uh, white hot rage that just resonates throughout my body for the past sixteen hours for no <laughs> reason whatsoever. But at the same time. I've also eaten six bowls of cereal since I woke up at eight this morning. So, you know what I'm saying? You got six in one and half a dozen in the other. Uh, 
This is truly a testament of our last few days here on Earth, fellas. Well, you know, I'm going to die with, with pink lungs. Yeah. <laughs> if these are our last few days, and, you know, that's fine. I spent it doing what I love, like getting talked down to by children while playing Team Fortress 2. Uh, did they call you the N-word? Yup. Yeah. <laughs> they said why do you suck as pyro and i said i'm 32 and i'm a little rusty okay i'm scared for my life i went to the gas station today i work at a grocery store i'm a fucking hero oh did you see that at the sunoco they've got the the big like the bougie juices the bolt house farms they got the big ones for 199 a fucking bottle maybe they got boozy juicy yeah, I even asked him. I, was, I asked, oh, no, bougie, bougie, not boozy, not J. Oh, what what okay. is that, like the big hog fucking, like, sugar water? No, no, the, like, um, the, like, uh, oh, what's that, naked? You know, naked juices? Yeah, the, the other brand of those called Bolt House Farms. They're some was huge. fucked up when naked, though. I think they like caused cancer really badly. They had to pull them from the shelves. Something fucked up went down with them. Oh yeah, it's all just nicotine and sugar in those, like mm -hmm. high fructose corn syrup and, and nicotine in yep. the in the naked juices. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But in the bowl, oh. maybe. I read the ingredients and it says that it's all. Wait, okay. We're not talking about juice you drink. What? We're talking, right, no, about, we're talking about juice you drink, but we're talking about this concoction that the boys in the cigarette plant, like they were making moonshine. They accidentally yeah. made uh, sort of a smoothie drink uh, that was wow. non-alcoholic, but was addictive. So now they got the cigarette plant on one side and the boozy juice uh, plant on the other side. A little best of both worlds, baby. Yep. You know? Wow. That's actually, that sounds great. I mean, you could... Pick some of those up for me, would Tobacco you? Tobacco boys are all about the side hustles. Yeah, that's brilliant. You ever meet a poor guy that works for a tobacco company? Fuck no. <laughs> Thinkers. Uh, I guess not. No, most of them. Uh, most of them dress just like you right now. Yep. As a <laughs> I would say. Yeah. <laughs> like, so, clearly. I'm a modern-day tobacconist. I would... Dude. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> you get a job at a vape store, baby. Say Wendy's can kiss my ass. Oh, Already did, bro. Or I told open Dave up your own vape store. I told Dave Thomas to suck my dick, and I, I filed for fucking unemployment. Uh, well, what you, what end you, of an era. You can't you tell the government is... about the podcast and the Patreon, though. We got to keep that kind of hush. Yeah, of course. Uh, have you considered before you quit Wendy's just blowing the vape juice into the frosty machine just to hook as many people as possible on the, your brand of nicotine? <laughs> <laughs> pour the whole fucking bottle in there. Yeah, just pour the bottle in there. You don't even have to vaporize it first. That's brilliant. Just flavor it. Yeah, what would you like? Cotton candy. I've got menthol. Uh, that's for the, the sham, their sh our version of shamrock shake. Like, oh, I like, like that. And we call it the menthol, sh the, men the menthol twist or something. Yeah, the, the you know cool, I mean? cool cigarette brought to you by cool, cool cigarettes. Uh, <laughs> it's like my, my sister, uh, you know, she's a few years older than me. And sometimes like I have to babysit like my nephew, her baby boy. And she smoked the entire time through the pregnancy. So yeah. like when the kids cry and having a fit, you know, I assume that, you know, it just needs the nicotine. So I just take a couple drops of the, uh, of the juice. I put a little bit on its lip and you know, it shuts the fuck right up. Hey, My grandmother used to do up. that with us with whiskey. If we couldn't sleep. <laughs> well, same thing. We're all doing pretty. All right. Yeah, baby Nick fit. My gra I know my, my granny would be doing the same thing. But no, rest in peace. Like that R. Kelly song, I wish. I've never heard it. Background. Oh, what? Oh, man. Could you, I'll, I'll could you sing it for me? No, no, but I can definitely send you the links in the, in the text message. <laughs> Hold on one second, <laughs> fellas. This might be a little disruptive, but Shane Stroud just called. He's doing a homie check. I'm going to take a little picture for him. Let him know what's up. Oh, oh wow. Okay. Hey, what up? Wow. Whammo. Look at that. Yeah, that that's right. good broadcasting right there. That's some good. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, homie check. What, does he do that often to you, Joe? Um, no, you well, you know. I, I hit him with a homie check. Extenuating like two, circumstances? I hit him with a homie check two weeks ago, and now I'm pretty sure he's he's running wild with it. He liked the, the, the sound of it, you know, so he's, he's out there homie checking all his homies now. Oh. Wow. Do you have like a cut and copy and paste homie check? 
uh, thing. I could just, or should I put in effort to check on my friends? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're, if you're going to check up on them, you got to type in each and every character. Oh, God, it's just so much work. I have so many balloons Copy and paste in, dude. That's like just a greeting card where you don't even sign <laughs> your name. That's soulless. <laughs> I have a goddamn heart. There's a pandemic out there, Brian. I, I believe in a God, but not a soul. <laughs> damn. We got friends God out there. Damn. We got friends out there fucking sacrificing their lives, putting their lives on the line to buy scratch-off lotto tickets, to play the fucking Mega Millions. Well, right now is the best time because there are fewer people buying in. But that means... Wait. Yeah, the more There's chances people to get end. to the numbers. Sure. The more chances to get to the numbers. You would have to buy more tickets, though, right? That's the case. I don't know. I really I don't, don't know. How why do you think it. Trump is giving us uh, $1,200? Stimulate the economy, baby. And they no, I, no to, to play oh, the fucking, the fucking lotto. Well, dude, I'm just saying you go to the mobile and it is working just fine. They're going there in preparation for that 1200 to roll. I was just there the other day eating dinner. Shameless, shameless. You know that place <laughs> has got that good pizza, baby. Yeah, you know, oh, yeah. And, oh, you can't. Pizza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So still still serving serving tiramisu, pizza. but yeah, yeah, yeah. They're still serving left-handed pizza there during all this? Not only that, they're licking their fingers bef- between each slice they're grabbing. Yeah, well, excellent. they got to they gotta make sure the sauce is fucking consistent on each slice. Well, That's true. It's not fucking gauge. prego. Uh, oop. Prego. Prego. My God. <laughs> Damn. You got a <laughs> sexy mouth when it comes to the musical languages, my friend. Thank you, man. I've been working on it. You guys have taught me a lot. Mm-hmm. Really. I've learned a lot. Um, well, I think when this is all over, we go and we follow our dreams of getting three voice acting jobs, all as Italian stereotypes. Possibly the good feathers. Redux. Oh, that wouldn't, that wouldn't be too bad. <laughs> know what I'm saying? The what? Feathers? The, the Good feathers. feathers from the Animaniacs. Oh, yeah. They were yeah, violent yeah. stereotypes of the Italian community. <laughs> yeah. Violent. But, well, do I you mean, guys want to continue with that stereotype? Yeah, I'm all for exploiting. Break from, okay. okay. Baby, look at this. You see, what, you see what I'm doing here in the camera? No, I do. Shooters at home. I'm doing the international sign for clams right. for dollars. Right. For, uh, the way I see it, my great-grandfather what? Vincenzo Trotto Scratch. came over from Italy to Ellis Island to Detroit to eventually be exploited by me. I'm exploiting his genes right now. Mm-hmm. Amen. That's, they, this is an immigrant's dream, you know, to have his great grandson collecting unemployment in a pandemic while also doing a, a, a video <laughs> podcast. <laughs> well, well, the I'm dream sure that- is real, baby. Let me tell you that much. You made it, you made it here, and I feel like for many of uh family that's left in italy you're probably doing a pretty pretty all right right now so yeah you may be living the american dream i guess i may i should contact them i know my cousin my cousin went over there and visited them and said that you know the food was incredible yeah i'm sure (laughs) i'm sure is he still there yeah oh no 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 they came back they came back oh that's good yeah i've got a friend stuck in costa rica right now I can't really say stuck in Costa Rica. I say worst places to be stuck, right? He's like living in like a waterfall and watching the sunset and blowing cocaine off of, he calls it, culos gigantes. He's not sharing like a hundred dollar bill with nobody, right? You got to socially distance using cocaine. Uh, I have no idea, man. I don't think so. I think Guatemala is safe. What's his email? Does he got a Gmail account? Because I'll invite him into the, the Zoom. Yeah, actually, we'll uh, get him in here. <laughs> I think his his internet may be sparse, but yeah, I'm sure that he would love to uh, to pop on. Uh, you you know him, you guys know him. I won't drop any names yet, but you know, y'all know who he who he be. I was watching I some, some shit on, on. I was watching some shit on Netflix, and uh, you know, there was like this Arab guy went to like visit his family in Egypt, and his family were all doing cocaine, and I was like, fuck. Damn, I could really go for some cocaine in this quarantine. <laughs> <laughs> and I was watching fucking, I was watching Monday Night Raw last night, and they were replaying the the women's match from WrestleMania last year. And by mm-hmm. the time that match last year actually went on, we were so fucking coked out of our fucking minds, we couldn't feel our faces. You remember oh, that, Joey? Oh, the, the 
the bag flipped upside down in the bathroom. Yeah, yeah. That was so oh, funny. No. Yeah. Dude, and, and, and so I'm watching the fucking match. I'm like, this is this is fucking not good at all. Not fucked up on coke, and you know, I've just been kind of fiending for it. Mm. <laughs> well, did the cereal tie it down at all? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, man. Welcome to my world. <laughs> I'm, about, I'm about to hit up a certain homie and see if he does curbside delivery. Oh my God Almighty! Just bring your own key when he fucking insists on coming into the apartment. No, no, yes, no that no, was the I perfect gotta... time. You could say no. We can't. I cannot so have sorry. you in this apartment. Yeah, it's no offense. Out meeting outside. I can't even hang out in your car. Yeah, this uh, is actually. Yeah, this is the best time to just kind of shrug off your drug dealers that want to hang out with you because their damn, day is their day is open. Dude, how are drug dealers so goddamn relaxed sitting in the front seat of their car smoking blunts? You know what I'm saying? Like, you ever notice that? I'm always bugging. Oh, the yeah. Fuck out. yeah. You know Just what? Like think think of a drug around. dealer's think Maybe. of a drug dealer's playlist. Ja Rule, Bob yep. Marley, Cottonmouth King, <laughs> Sublime. You listen to that shit all day, you're not going to fucking have an edge to you. You're going to fucking just roll with the goddamn vibes, dude. It's like watching the tide come in. And fucking Ventura, well, California, sitting in the top of a fucking Crown Royal Plaza Hotel up in the suite, <laughs> and you're just watching the waves roll in. Dude, you don't got to fucking care. You're not worried about the police or someone robbing you or maybe one of your customers OD because you'll just get more. Nothing fucking matters, dude. Damn. It's you, all fluid. Uh, you've got this. I mean, I don't know what you're – what are you doing having a podcast? Why aren't you selling drugs? I got you the look for it. Yeah. <laughs> 100% if I came up to you at Coachella or the Detroit Electronic Music Festival and I said, hey man, I got fucking double, double stacker ecstasy, fucking 20, 20 bucks a pill, you're probably going to buy from me. I don't know if I can, I don't, I don't really trust people that are as tall as you though, like strangers. Really? I feel like... Yeah, I would I'll definitely be- go with the shorter drug dealer, like a 5'10". <laughs> yeah. Like a 5'10 yeah. is really like, I feel almost at ease. Yeah, like I, I, feel, I, I can I get my hands around that, you know. I feel I due to my hands. height, like I would intimidate you to buy drugs from me. Yeah, yeah. Mm. You know? Well, well you've got be just, more than re- likely in public, right? So, like, it's not like you'd be like, hey, follow me down this alley or else I'm going to beat you up in front of all these people. And it's like, who did that? And it's rape like you to death. Seven foot guy. No, no, no. Like, I would, I would go up to you, taxi. Joey. If I saw you dancing at the techno festival, I'd be like, hey, bud, I got ecstasy Wait, and I got, uh, I got a children's car seat in the back of my Honda if you want to pop up in there. Where would we be going? <laughs> <laughs> I, was that's calling it, you, that's it. I was calling you short. Where Get you a little children's car seat. Do some ecstasy with me. Where are we going? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, screws, uh, up, screws up the offer, baby. <laughs> You're already high. Oh, blasted, dude. Are you are you smoking are you smoking pot? What? Are you still smoking weed? Yeah, it's legal. Man, why are you on my no, case I, about it? No, I know that, but I know you quit smoking cigs. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. What do you think is keeping the meat from Shake it. Oh, uh, you're, you're shake it. You're you're about ready to pop off on me right now. I can see it. No, 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 no. My my yeah, man, it's silent legal. rage is boiling from Vincent <laughs> asking me if I want a uh, car seat. But I'm trying <laughs> to be a professional. I'm trying to be a professional about it. So uh, <laughs> Nick fits, man. Nick fits. Oh man, I, if I had a, I would pass you the virtual blunt if I had it. Um, I'm imagining you, Joey, just like you're sitting on eight phone books right now in that computer. Oh chair. my, we're gonna have to take a break. Ten, as a matter of fact. <laughs> on ten of them. I'm just, I'm just kidding, buddy. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so pissed off. Oh gosh. I'm sorry, Go on, man. Carry, I'm, I'm carry just... the show, please. Continue. <laughs> please. I'm just, I'm, I'm just gonna take a, a rip of my nicotine. Oh, good, good. I'm sure this is really good audio. Dead silence. Oh golly. <laughs> oh golly. So. All right. All right, kids. Uh, what, Joe, I want to know specifically, what are you doing to, uh, I mean, to keep sane? Um, well, today I have been reading the first edition Dungeon Master's Guide that I got a relic from the Gibraltar Trade Center, the Creature family. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
That's so I've good. been reading that uh, and trying to comprehend it. Unfortunately, um, the brain is a muscle, you know, as you may yeah. know. Mm-hmm. And oh, yeah. so uh, retention, it's probably yeah. at like an eighth grade level right now. You know, and all yeah. of this I, I heard made today for, that like, the, 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 mind initial... quits, the mind quits uh, right. learning things after 25 years old. Damn, that's what Rob Van Dam said. He said that's why you shouldn't smoke weed at an early age. And I had a mm-hmm. little bit of a freak out about 25, that. 25, it's kind of a cutoff. Like, no new info can really get in there. Yeah. What really? are you going to do? Not according to that fucking, um, oh, what's that con man's name? Neil deGrasse Tyson. Yeah. He's got a YouTube uh, commercial right now. He's got a commercial on YouTube. And he's like, if you only give me $1,200 tomorrow, <laughs> I can teach you how to think like Neil deGrasse Tyson. Damn, my man uh, Neil about to double his Trump stimulus into some lotto tickets. You know what I'm talking about? That master class? No, I don't oh, know nothing about it, yeah. but it sounds like I've he about those. to use his Trump stimulus, <laughs> take that to the gas station, double fucking get the uh, $2,400 $2, worth of Mega Millions tickets. He just like pops out from behind a pump and looks at you and he's like, hey, hey, big guy. Hey, hey. <laughs> I need about uh, $17 to uh, get back to Flint, Michigan. <laughs> I gotta tell you about uh, uh, the. Sp- I gotta tell you about black holes. I gotta tell you about quantum mechanics. Hey, hey, come on over. Hey, come on over. You gotta, you gotta take it. In. Take it in. <laughs> I might pop I want, in. Why don't you take a little bit of that there? Hey? Ooh, hello, hello. There. Yeah, now here, let me light that for you. Here, let me. I'm lighting a bowl here for you. Here we go. Here we go. Shooters, there take we... a hit. Take a hit. Shooters, take a hit. <laughs> Time to break edge, y'all. All right. Cool. Damn. That was some virtual 420, week. brother. Yeah, 420, blaze it. Yeah, hell Please yeah. Please blaze it. Um, Joe, have you been masturbating? Uh, yeah, constantly. Really? Yeah, yeah on phone, computer. Non-stop. What? Phone, computer. Oh, phone, baby. Phone. 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 Yep. What is this? In and out. You guys, if you ever like, oh, not ever, but I mean, maybe we should try just just our imaginations while we're in quarantine the shane take stroud, it old school the, the shane stroud method <laughs> is that how is that how he does it i i swear to god when we he were sure like does. 20 when i was like 19 he was like 21 well he was really 20 but he like lied on his fucking driver's license said he was a year older than he was so he could fucking oh. buy booze a year uh year earlier than he could and we were talking about porno and jacking off and he said that he had never watched porno and that he used strictly his imagination like would he imagine <laughs> would he imagine like what he imagined sex to look like yeah yeah he you know imagine imagine himself like you know opening his mouth and putting a dog's penis in, <laughs> into his mouth or <laughs> oh man i like that <laughs> Oh, Shane. I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's a good egg right there. He actually gotta... just hit me up. Well, his ears must be itching, dude. He just texted me. What did he say? Uh, he seemed like one of the legit nicer guys in the situation. Oh, he's, uh, he's hitting, he's sending a message in response to a group uh, message. I don't know. Oh, yeah, I got that too, actually. None of it's misspelled yeah. and none of it's miscapitalized. So I think this is a sober homie check. Oh, love that. Nice. I know. Which is, yeah. yeah. You know what? Hats off to Helper, dude, for anyone staying uh, out of the bottle during this quarantine. Because, like, what a nice little time to start. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you're not already <laughs> day drinking, dude. I got, I got the half gallon of Gilby's gin I bought when fucking shit went tits Ugh. up. I haven't even, I haven't even opened it yet. Gilby's? No. I've Gilby's. I like Gilby's. Bottom though. shelf, Gilfies brother. Gin. That shit, that shit that's collecting dust on the bottom shelf at the liquor store, that's what I picked up. A whole half gallon for 20 bucks. Some Crystal Palace. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah. Crystal, yeah Crystal, Crystal Palace level for sure. Bro, we went, to, uh, we went up north one time with, uh, with um, Mike and Chris and a couple of the other homies. And um, we got Crystal Palace uh, vodka. And... It just caused a whole turmoil of, of the whole like crew. It started out fun. We were breaking into garages. We were throwing um, uh, half gallons of alcohol with gasoline on them oh, into God. the fire, shooting like, you know, bows and arrows into, into bottles, into the fire, all that type of stuff. You yeah. Know, just having Boys. a blast. Boys time. By the fourth night, we were like, 
doing push-ups in the beach and getting into fist fights with each other and yelling like a goddamn real world episode you know what uh, i mean it's no dude when you up hunt, north dude. up north michigan do that shit to you when we Bro. went to tawas with uh chris miller and chance and brian Ooh. brian your hey. ass was there fucking what? uh yeah Chris, Chris Miller and fucking Chance, we were playing Tass. So we were tasking each other to, you know, different monsters. Jen Steele, stuff. too. Jen Steele was yeah, up Jen there. Jen was there. <laughs> different monstrous fucking, like, you know, uh, dares, I guess. And, like, Chris and Chance were dared to steal a boat. So they did. They got real drunk. They fucking, like, <laughs> took a boat that this yeah. guy left on the beach. It was a big old pontoon sailboat. They took it out yeah. on fucking what? Lake? That was like, uh, that was like Huron. That's like one, you're on, one of yeah. the great lake shooters. They uh, yeah. took it out, <laughs> but they were they were fucking blacking out, so they couldn't fucking figure out how to use the sails. They couldn't raise them, <laughs> so they ended up just fucking jumping off the boat, swimming back to shore. They ended up stealing bicycles from somebody in like the neighborhood, and they uh, ended up on top of like a little Caesars or a Domino, some like little chain pizza place. And they were like trying to break in through the roof because they were going to It was a Hungry Howie's. It was was a Hungry (laughs) Howie's. It was a Hungry Howie's. Uh, That didn't work out. They were still sopping wet. So they came back and like where we were camping on the beach was at a boat marina. So they just crawled into one of the boats they had for sale and just went into the cabin and passed out there. (laughs) <laughs> and when we woke up, uh, this guy who was who was staying on his boat in the marina, it was his pontoon boat that was across the that was stuck in the the marsh across the lake. Like you could see it from the beach, and uh, all all night that guy was drunk as fuck. He actually couldn't get the boat back into the marina, and that's why I ended up on the beach because he was too drunk to bring it in. And like two guys that worked for the marina had to go out and save him. So when his boat was stuck across the lake, the, the guy whose boat it was thought it was the marina guys that pushed it out to punish him for being a drunk asshole. And they never <laughs> once thought it was maybe the dirty, shitty, fucking <laughs> drunk as fuck, sunburnt kid sleeping on a tent. It's true. That's true. There was no, no, uh, no consequences to, their, to any no. of our behavior. No. Straight divine intervention, dude. That's like when people ask you, like, you know, is God real? Or do you, are you really just like, you know denying yourself a delicious hamburger on uh, on good friday for nothing you know mm-hmm. what i mean like are you are you really just praying to to this absent figure and it's like man. Oh, no man i'm not in jail after sealing a boat breaking into a hungry howie's what else happened here now? <laughs> yeah, yeah uh, said they, i think they also <laughs> went into a bar and then just went into the kitchen and started eating bread off uh, off the yes. like the shelf they had back there yes it was they they completely terrorized that tiny uh, coastal town. Honey rats, couple yeah. of damn honey rats. Do you like, you know yeah. Right? Yeah. Right, do you remember when uh the, the guy whose boat they stole, like he pulled up in his truck and he had that big kill Obama sign on the back of it? <laughs> How could you not? <laughs> God damn. Yeah, there was there was nobody who uh who deserved to have his boat marooned on the other side of the the, the Great Lake. <laughs> Oh, that was the same guy? Yeah, yeah. same guy. He had a big old pickup truck that said, kill Obama on the back. Yeah. Chris and Chance, yeah. literally, I, don't, I mean, I, I don't think it was planned, honestly, but I mean, because they were blackout drunk, but they picked the best, the most deserving of characters on yeah. that beach to terrorize. Oh, well, <laughs> goddamn, everything works itself out, you know what yeah. I mean? I think yeah. that's what I fell off like a 15 foot dock that night, too. Yeah, I, I I dropped Jen Steele. I was carrying her from a boat over onto the dock, and I just dropped her like into like right off the into the Damn. water. <laughs> <laughs> you get some serious uh, business done in Northern yeah. Michigan. That's true. I have a bunch of pictures from that uh, from that day too. We should pop into the uh, boat shooting club. <laughs> There's a famous one of Chris Miller holding fucking like eight oh. different types of cheap liquors. Just handles. It's like he, yeah, there's a couple ha- gallons there. He has every bottle in his hand. It was. Oh, <laughs> oh God. Yeah. You. That's where you taught me the trick to just. Uh, if you're on the beach, you just piss wherever. Yeah. At any time. Well, if you're on vacation, whether just in piss the water, your pants, or, it doesn't uh, matter. If you're on vacation. Yeah. Right. Yep, yep. I, I hope. By to, I hope to have a day. son. I can teach that to. I've been considering this uh, quarantine vacation. I've just been pissing my pants. Uh, 
all day and all night. Jesse's been losing her fucking mind, pissing the bed. My dog is suddenly afraid to go anywhere in the house because it smells like my piss and not his anymore. Mm-hmm. Jealous. He didn't. He didn't see that one coming, huh? No, he <laughs> didn't. But I'm, on va- I'm on vacation, Gooby. Deal with it. Yeah. Damn. No qu- quarantine falls under vacation jur- jurisdiction. All right. Gooby doesn't get a pants vacation. Freely. Hey, did Trump say how much dogs were getting? How much money in the stimulus package that each dog would <laughs> like, get? Like for dogs, the animal, or like the dogs? Uh, oh, no, the dogs, the animal. <laughs> yeah. And it's probably I mean, at least the a, dogs. A plate of spaghetti. I mean, the guy's enamored with Lady and the Tramp. That's true. <laughs> these dogs, That's they, true. These tremendous dogs, they love spaghetti. <laughs> get all these dogs. Nation, every dog in the nation, get them a plate of spaghetti. <laughs> And one or two of those little Chef Boyardee meatballs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. If my dog got a bowl of uh, beefaroni, I don't think he'd ever go back to his kibble. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Trump, Trump is getting Chef Boyardee to, man. He's got the plant. He reopened the Chef Boyardee plant to get every dog in America a couple of them little meatballs. <laughs> you know It'd be great. What? I think I'm starting to like them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm starting to, starting to think about this one now. Kind of He's doing the whole like press them. conferences about reopening the Chef Boyardee factory for the meatballs for the dogs. And then, and you know, how? everybody from the Washington Post is like, so what about, what about the death numbers? What about the rising confirmed cases? And he's, he's just not concerned with anything but every dog in America getting a small meatball. <laughs> <laughs> they're using the uh what is it the defense act where they can repurpose like gm buildings and toyota you know fact automotive factories just be pumping out these tiny meatballs yeah. for our small dogs <laughs> yeah <laughs> it'll work itself out you know what i mean yeah. like, don't worry about how it works it'll work itself out. yeah That's he, he right. made ford and gm halt making the the ventilators all all around the detroit <laughs> metropolitan area <laughs> That we have enough. We have a, we have too many terrific ventilators already. But we, what we don't have enough of is tremendous, tiny, little, cute <laughs> meatballs this size. <laughs> It'd be perfect for my dog. You know, he's Pomeranian. He's got a very tiny snout, so he can <laughs> he could probably eat one of those balls in like one bite. He's ferocious, but he's a tyrant. But he uh, sure, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's he's little, you know. <laughs> I could go for a couple of those right now myself. Oh, you know? isn't that not to be all me, me, me? Isn't here, that but, uh, Italian sacrilege to desire Chef Boyardee? I mean, I know he was a paisan, but um, and spaghetti. I mean, it's, it's called COVID, the paisano plague, dude. There's no, there's, ooh, it's, ooh. it's all out the window at the moment, baby. This is, ooh. this is, the pride is on the back burner. This is survival. You right. know what I'm saying? This is survival. Give me a meatball. That being right. said, I'm not 100 percent sure my grandfather would shake Chef Boyardee's hand or not. I can't. I can't confirm that. Oh. Yeah. Oh. I'm gonna have oh. to get the virus and then succumb, succumb to it, and then I'll ask him. Succumb you know that Chef Boyardee it. was the one that was fucking making a profit off of all of our people's backs coming in, pretending to be Italian in, in all the rotten neighborhoods. You know what I mean? Oh, was he Stealing Lebanese? all the secrets with a little fake mustache on. Turkish. Who, Who, Chef? He's Greek. Chef Boyardee was a Greek, dude. That's what, that's what started the rivalry. Oh. That's why we're here now. You know oh, damn. I, mean? I know. That's an ancient, that's a tale as old as time. A song I knew, as old I knew as he rhyme. was lying about <laughs> his name. As as rhyme, exactly. I knew he was lying about his name, but I didn't know that he was a Greek. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Phenomenal cuisine, though. You know, I thought, I, mean? I thought you oh, all I get along with the Greeks. Huh? What? I thought, I thought Italian, the, the Italians, they don't get along with the Greeks. Me personally, uh, but you know, I've, yeah. uh, we've got Sicilian homies too. That's that old world mentality. Mm-hmm. Maltese, right. you know. Too. I don't well, discriminate, baby. Right. Well, didn't like a lot of the Italian like culture wasn't it just straight up lifted from Greece? Easy. 
Easy. <laughs> Easy. You you can ask anybody. My great grandfather Vincenzo Trotto, he created the myth, the mythos of Zeus and Hercules. It was not a Greek thing. <laughs> All that shit did not come from like 2500 BC. That shit was created in 1913 Calabrese, Italy. You know what? Uh, Athena, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to say it. The Minotaur, Plato. the whole thing. Plato's a little bit of, uh, you know what I'm saying? A little bit of a calzone, if uh, you oh. pick up what I'm saying. You know? <laughs> well, you know, the Greeks, they, uh, they never left their buddies behind. They you know? really knew how to torture, too. <laughs> <laughs> the Greeks and the Romans, dude, like some of those torture devices, like, you know, about the brazen bull. Oh, the no. Romans did it better. The Romans always did it better. I think I think the Romans did create the brazen bull. That was like a, a, a it was like this bronzen bull statue that mm -hmm. was like hollowed out on the inside and like where the bull's head there was like a big sophisticated system of like tubes that made horns. So what they would do is they would put the guy in the in the bowl into the into the bronzen bowl and then they would light a fire underneath it so it roast the guy alive. And his screams would go through all the tubing and pipes. It would create kind of like a uh, French horn type sound. <laughs> and then steam would come out of his nose like the Chicago yep. Bulls logo. Mm -hmm. oh, hell that's, yeah. that's where they got the idea. Jesus. <laughs> the Chicago Bulls, uh, they actually were the, a Greek team. Yeah. Easy. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Michael Jordan, a Greek. Uh, Italian, actually. <laughs> I guess it would explain the mustache. Full blooded. Yeah, and the earring. The monsters, all Greeks. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucked now up. That's that something we can agree on. <laughs> it's, it's fucked up they portrayed the Greek people as being aliens from outer space. But, you know, it is what it is. Fucking the Jews in Hollywood just don't like the Greeks. So they. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, oh, that's geez. the truth, though. That's the truth. <laughs> Why do you think we got so many Coney Islands out here and no Greeks in L.A.? Good point. True. Good point. Mm -hmm. Thank God for that, too. I love the, the Greeks. Greeks and me. They, the food. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, incredible. Food. An anal sex. Sure. Great. <laughs> oh, sure. <laughs> you know, Double J ain't here to judge. They, inv they invented all that shit. They, inv they invented halal pussy for sure. They, they, inv they did. I mean, don't, don't go to Lebanon and start saying the Greeks invented halal pussy. But, you know, for the podcast, <laughs> we're not taking a stance of who created halal pussy. But right. maybe it was we're the Greeks. Who knows? We're <laughs> We're gonna, we're gonna get him. Uh, we're, we're gonna get him. We're gonna get hate mail from ISIS for this. There's some. <laughs> there's somebody over there listening to this shit that's gonna be pissed off what? that we claim the law pussies Greek. Oh, uh, well, uh, to you. Well, uh, bro, no, we create hello pussy. <laughs> well, It'd be uh, shocking if we had some like crossover crossover opinions. Like they're like, yes, we actually love Polly Shore. Uh, <laughs> the, the Mark Summers bit. We all tell each other the Mark Summers. We are Summers big, bit. big fans of the podcast. I've, oh, I have kind of an Indian voice there, but big fans awesome in India. Indian, yeah, big fan worldwide. Yeah, worldwide, man. Worldwide. If we do have any ISIS out listeners out there, um, maybe take some time off, and um, you know, I think it's a pandemic they did, out bro. there. I, uh, eat eat sure. some cereal. Eat more I'm pretty, cereal. I'm pretty sure their leader told them to get out of Europe and to cancel jihads because of the COVID-19. Hmm. Wow, really? I, I think I read that, but, you know, who knows what's real anymore. So you're Man. saying that it's possible that the COVID-19 might be manufactured by the government or some sort of, like, eco-weapon for, like, the, the greater good, kind of like a Dr. Manhattan of sorts, where mm, it's like, sure. you might lose a couple. You might lose might a couple. One of, one of my oh. aunts, one of my aunts, like really sent more me, uh, one of my aunts oh. sent me some uh, excerpts from a Dean Koontz book that I guess, um, like prodigized all of this. It, it, it came, it said that there was going to be a, a, a biological weapon created in Wuhan, China to be used against the entire world. Holy mm -hmm. shit. So my aunt, I think that she's <laughs> hypothesizing that Dean Koontz is the, the guy behind this. He's uh, in on real it. Real quick, yeah. Dean Koontz, more like Dean. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah no, I mean, no, we're like, no. Fuck it. Uh, what did he write? Uh, clear and present danger? Was that him? I don't know. Uh, da Vinci no Code? Da Vinci Code was kind of about what's happening right now, isn't it? Or Angels and Demons? Is that all? Angels and Diamonders, yeah. I don't know. I'm, I'm Italian and I'm Catholic. I was told to stay away from the Da Vinci Code by Phil Leonardo's <laughs> wife, in, uh, or Leotardo's wife in uh, The Sopranos. <laughs> Once she, again, she very uh, sternly said the that Da Vinci Code was a naughty book full of lies. So I, I never, I never picked it up, and I refused to watch the movie. Damn, why, yeah. why question that? You know what I mean? Why go any further? Yeah, the Italians are right again. Mm. You dodged a bullet. Usually are. If you're not gonna listen Usually to are. Phil Leotardo's wife, who the fuck are you gonna listen to, man? You gotta have <laughs> morals. <laughs> Everyone needs a guy, 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 a, guy, a guide. You know what I'm saying? Yep, 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 yep. I feel that. I feel that. I feel that. A little Devon Dudley moment. There. I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> Not a bad Skipping. idea. Not a bad idea to pick up a stutter, though, in the quarantine. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We should start I mean, working on some quirks. Yeah, yeah that's true. Uh, Y'all, I actually got one I've been working on. Can I, can I do this for you with my, with my mic set up? Please. Yeah, please. All right, I'm going to play the uh, William Tell Overture on my lips. <laughs> Make sure they're moistened. Very faint. Too faint? Yeah, yeah, I think I didn't hear a thing. Oh no! Complete radio silence. Yeah. I oh might, no! Might have to cut that in in post. Uh, you know what though? I'll just I'll record it and then you just splice that in for me. There okay, yeah, go. we'll do that. <laughs> or maybe we'll just a little movie the magic, baby. Movie magic. You know what I'm saying? Uh, a little motherfucking wow, movie. I can't magic. really even not even how close could I be? Like. Mm. Wow! Nothing, huh? Sorry. No, now, this mic is maybe not in range for for lip vibrations that aren't caused from within. Like throat singing, you know that? No, no, it's just like the sound of my lip smacking against the other lip. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Could theoretically you hear be the done first on a couple, pussy, which would be cool. When really? You went, when you first went, when you said I got to moisten up my lips, and then went, oh yeah, you could hear all wow. those. Uh, maybe I need a like a microphone inside of my mouth to really catch it. There. We can we can just order you one with next month's Patreon money. Get you another <laughs> uh, another uh, blue snowball, and we'll just yeah. put it inside of your mouth. We'll have yeah. your jaw unhinged. <laughs> just like. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I got. That would be horrifying, brother. I got a guy at uh, IKEA, man. Know. He'll take that thing right off. <laughs> Damn. He'll unscrew that Is whole jaw. No, no, he's a Swede. He's a Swede. Ah. Good people. Good yeah. people. Yeah. Good Tall people. people. Makes many edits on wikipedia.com. <laughs> Are they true edits or true, fake edits? True true edits, dude. He doesn't <laughs> he doesn't fuck around, dude. He has the power to I, IP ban you if you start Holy fucking shit. You start editing some false facts about the movie Ace Ventura 2. Uh, like, if you go in Adrian there calls? and you say all the butt bits, like the talking butt bits aren't funny, you edit that into the fucking Wikipedia for Ace Ventura Pet Detective 2, yeah, that's an IP ban. He fucking, he got fucking hawk eyes on you. He'll take uh, that you is, out. It is just objectively wrong. That, yeah, I mean they are hilarious. So I he's got a list of his it. ten favorite movies, and if you fuck with the editing in any way, you do some fucking virtual graffiti. He'll fucking hunt you down. <laughs> his Kyle <laughs> style, dude. He will snipe you. Him. He will snipe you from fucking half a mile away. He will find you. He's like Liam Nielsen in the like stealing his daughter, but it's about fucking. Don't fuck with this top ten on Wikipedia's favorite movies. <laughs> <laughs> fair, fair. Yeah. Yeah. What are his ten, uh, what are what's a what's a couple of his ten? Well, you know, Ace Ventura one, Ace Ventura two, naturally. Uh, Dunstan checks in, checks in. Great film. Uh, MVP Great motion picture. Yeah. You know, MVP most valuable primate, Kangaroo Jack. 
Mm-hmm. He's a big, big animal movie guy. You know what I'm saying? Mighty oh, Joe so Young. he likes The Mask number three when it's all about Milo. Yup, 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 yup. Didn't care for the first two, but when it was all about the <laughs> damn dog. He's he's all in. He's all right, all right. Uh, 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 you know, he, he was actually trying to suppress the Milo and Otis information. He didn't want people to know how many Milo and Otis's died while filming. He tried to it was try to seven Milo's at least that yeah, we he, know about seven. Yeah, he got put into a virtual timeout for IPing banning uh P- PETA activists for trying to make that known. Damn. I actually I like the movie more though, knowing that all those animals suffered. <laughs> well, wait until was, you I, read about who went down on Homer Bound. You know what I'm saying? Oh, was it Shadow? All, all of them. All of them. All of them. <laughs> ah, I love it. Uh, I was—I I don't remember if I was talking about it on the podcast, or I was just this was in my life, or I was talking about how the uh, the pain and suffering of animals on film makes me enjoy the films more. Um, <laughs> yeah, I was just talking about it this week. That was, like, that was either tell. that was either on the pod or to your priest. I'm not sure. <laughs> Did you ever see the Andromeda Strain? I think it's the. And- Andromeda Strain, or uh, there's some movie that O.J. Simpson's in where they like are they have to figure out this disease. It's much like this would be a good time to watch it actually. Uh, okay. It's a it's a pandemic, but they actually suck all of the they put they have these monkeys that they in the film expose the pathogen to, but in real life they had them in these like hyperbolic chambers where they just suck the air out of it, and the monkey would pass out. They'd bring it back maybe. Uh, they said they would that they you know they'd put in air but you actually get to see these monkeys like gasping for air and reaching for their lives and uh, i loved every second of it yeah that sounds psychedelic (laughs) dude yeah it was it's really i definitely eat some acid and watch yeah i was thinking dmt yeah yeah. oh you a full do a do do a full joe row you know what i'm saying fucking (laughs) you can keep your eyes open to watch a fucking uh capuchin monkey suffocate Yeah, no, wow. I would, I would wow. get a, I would get a fire spinner, one of the Burning Man burners. I'd get them to uh, sew my eyelids open. <laughs> if you want some That's body modifications, you gotta go to a, you gotta go to a burner. That's, That's true. true. That's you could true. do it with six eyebrow rings on each side too. Yep. And just like yep. gears them a little bit higher, so they just like lock into place. Oh sure. my god! Not how bad. many of those? I mean, how many of those is your body going to reject? Like every other. <laughs> Every other fucking eyebrow ring. Uh, I've I never did, been pierced, so I have no idea. I got a, I got a moral never. question for you guys. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Would it be morally wrong to make like a Facebook group uh, encouraging fire spinners to get together and spin fire to fight the COVID? So basically, get a mass gathering of fire spinners together uh, during a pandemic. They already are ignoring the laws, dude. Like, they're already, like, going to, like, one of those goddamn tunnels in Las Vegas, and you know there's, like, 70 of those motherfuckers. Like, dude, you ain't going to stop the fucking fire, baby. Yeah. You ain't stop the vibes, dude. You know what I mean? Like, because, look, the Joe, thing are, is, what? Are you, are, you getting, are you going for round three there with that racing brand? I'm, 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 who's going? Who's going? <laughs> Let the boy snack. Let the boy snack. He's not snack. smoking. You're right. You're right. I'm not getting anything. Why do you ask? <laughs> no, no, it's no. legal. Razor yeah. Brand's legal here. Last time I checked, dude. Last time I checked, this was America when I woke up. You know what I'm saying to you? Oh, uh, thank you. Oh, my to God, guys. I'm going to smoke a cigarette right after this podcast. No. Yeah. I'm going to smoke a big one, dude. I'm going to smoke a big old cigarette right after A big one. A big Two or three at once. Two or three. You should just empty out one. Like, just get some rolling papers empty out three into one big spliff and just there you go. smoke that there yeah. you go. triple c like that but then you don't get the cartoonish effect of smoking three cigarettes at once either it is really fun to do it, it like true it truly is yeah have two lit and then fucking you're so drunk that you got uh <laughs> you pull another one out of the pack and put it in your mouth and you light the cigarette with one of your other cigarettes Ooh, Ooh. that's fun Oof. dude that's fun drunk that's yeah. like if you're driving up north, up to we call for our non-Michigan listeners up north is just northern Michigan. 
uh, you don't have a lighter. This is a fun <laughs> trick to do. You just, you smoke the entire way, just lighting with a new cigarette from the old one until you get to the bridge. And if you can do that, that means you have to smoke the entire way. Yeah. But you've, car you've carried the flame. And you're not yeah. you're not going up north without money, so you got a whole nother pack of cigarettes wait cigarettes waiting for you across the bridge in the UP. Absolutely, yeah, totally. Damn. No, yeah. What's the vacation going to be like without cigarettes? Yeah. Oh. Imagine vacation without cigarettes. That sounds fucking <laughs> horrible, dude. Well, you can piss your pants all you want, though. Still, it's true. <laughs> it's true, baby. <laughs> I'm gonna get a I'm gonna get a head start as soon as I have my third bowl of cereal. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what yeah. when I, when up, y'all? How we when doing? I, when when we I go on down? vacation, I do like I do pack like three or four packs of American spirits with me. I love the smoke when I'm on the go. Mm -hmm. That's why I loved yeah. L.A. Because every time you lit a cigarette, everybody would keep the fuck away from you. Like it's nice. the only only major city in the world where nobody hassles you for uh for a cigarette because you're looked at as like a gremlin, a uh, straight up ghoul. Uh, for lighting up a cigarette really <laughs> yeah i had i had a neighbor at the airbnb i was staying at uh yell yell to me from the window that what i was doing was dangerous to her and her dog and that she was calling the landlord of the airbnb and i was like really? oh man i hope the cops don't come <laughs> <Wait>. <laughs> they called they said that about smoking on the balcony you were outside yeah i was outside i don't think that's Jesus. legal I don't know, but she said that she was calling. She's like, we got, we got smokers. We got smokers. Don't we, I got to shut the window. Cause me and my dog, that, that can really hurt us. And they, they closed the window and I was like, you stupid fucking broads. You know, somebody <laughs> in your apartment complex the other day, I was smoking a joint inside the apartment with the windows open, you know, because I don't want it to stink up like that when Noki's around, she'd be embarrassed. You know, I don't want to leave a bad impression or nothing. Right. And somebody slammed their windows on me. Ooh, Similar Fuck situation. Yeah. I was How like, rude. Is that what just what, what what's going on now? We got a little bit of LA and Michigan is what's happening. Because I I I was like, damn, I don't think anyone would normally do that. I don't know. It's maybe maybe in. the weed smoke was going up and she could see it and like feared that you know COVID germs were coming in with that smoke. Maybe. Ah, yeah. Maybe. It travels via weed smoke. That's yep. true. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Damn. I heard. Yep. I when when Trump <laughs> was introducing the meatball initiative, he did say that it traveled <laughs> mainly via weed smoke. I love the meatball initiative, baby. <laughs> the the national meatball defense initiative. <laughs> <laughs> we got to trigger Chef Boy RD plant employees back to work. <laughs> <laughs> They're, they're an essential function to uh, the United States economy. <laughs> and how, baby? And how? Go and try to get yourself a can right now. Go to the grocery store, Shooters. I, I, I dare you. I bet it's pretty tough to get a beefaroni, a couple cans or two. I bet it's pretty tough. I ain't going. I ain't stepping foot in no fucking grocery store. Uh, yeah. I'm doing not, not what God wants me to do. God wants me to collect unemployment and play Team Fortress 2, and I'm going to follow him. I'm on his path. <laughs> Damn. That sounds like an incredible plan. Spent four, I spent four hours today working on my wrestling arena, my Animal Crossing Island. This is, God, this is God's plan for me. <laughs> he, said, he said, quit your job, file for unemployment. And just do what makes you happy. <laughs> Dude, she heard us calling out to her from the from the first couple of episodes talking about the disability plan. She's like, Don't worry, my children, I got you. Yeah, don't even <laughs> you guys don't even have to drop heavy machinery on your foot. Hey. <laughs> I got Sign something me up. I got something cooking coming down the tailpipe right now. <laughs> don't worry, guys. <laughs> Now, if only God could come there. through with the fucking pain pills, we'd be fucking sitting pretty. Oh, God. Yeah, that sounds great. <laughs> Maybe that's what we got to do. Maybe we just got to call the White House and be like, we need to talk to the president. Yes, the $1,200 was nice. Yes, the two meatballs for my dog was fantastic. But what, we could, <laughs> what we could really use is two refills, guaranteed, of narco 750s. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 
<laughs> now we're talking. Listen, Mr. President, do you know how much this will help big pharma if we're all addicted to pain pills? Everybody in the nation? Think about what that will do to the stock market, Mr. Trump, Mr. President. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he sees this. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna send him a link on Twitter. Like, listen, yeah, got a great idea to boost up the economy, but it starts with giving us uh, two scripts to 750 narcos mm-hmm. and five dollars on our Patreon pot. Uh... A podcast. Yeah. <laughs> we should have the, the presidential tier. It's only reserved for him. <laughs> Three bars of gold. Yeah. And I can From get Fort to bite Knox. it. You, yeah. can, you know what I'm saying? Ouch. My mouth is actually Ouch. hurting a little bit from smiling, thinking about fucking pain pills just coming in the mail. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a cartoon. Think of how, a presidential think of how much feel. <laughs> A handwritten letter and a photograph signed. That'll keep him home. Yeah. <laughs> and it most certainly will. True. <laughs> True. Just unable to shit, like tired playing Animal Crossing. <laughs> I'll be watching I'm that Joe Exotic party, documentary dude. every day, dude. I'd be throwing Joe Exotic on every goddamn day. Amen, brother. <laughs> <laughs> oh damn sign me up y'all sign me up also i feel like that will 100 percent blow over with um his demographic very yeah. easy to swallow yeah. very easy yeah. to swallow that plan sure yeah. i mean you know. he's got to he's got to vote from me if he comes through with these pain pills guaranteed <laughs> yeah me too and well and the meatballs uh, and the and look, look and Mr. The President, I don't care ball, about yeah. these kids in cages. I don't, I don't give a shit about you know the Muslims <laughs> coming in the country. I just all I all I really care about is your narco 750 platform. <laughs> <laughs> We're guaranteed two scripts, but I would like to see it three, sir. <laughs> <laughs> call me un-American. <laughs> you know who else they called un-American? Lee Harvey Oswald. <laughs> Sir, Mr. President, Vincent Trotto, I was on the front lines at Kroger's during COVID-19 pandemic. <laughs> yes. Thank Battle you for of pastries. Me. Yep. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. That's him praising me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, well, boys, um, I, is it time to uh, to plug plug our shit? I think we should definitely be plugging that uh, that Facebook uh, page that you popped off there, Vince. Oh, the 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 poly group I created. One thousand, yeah. baby, we're gonna get there. Yeah, uh, yes. I started a poly group. Uh, future husbands for Joe Exotic. We're trying to get to a thousand husbands. Uh, I got his prison address. I want to take a picture of the group and send it to him to let him know that when he gets out, he not only has Dylan Passage as a husband, but he also has another th- a thousand guaranteed male husbands, all poly, waiting for him when he gets out of the pet. And by joining the group, it's legally binding. It's in the description that you have signed up to be married to the man. It is not a bit. It is not a meme group. Right. It is a legal binding contract. <laughs> my lawyer, my lawyer's on quarantine and he's bored as fuck. <laughs> any type of legislation any type of fucking lawsuit whatever i throw at him he's fucking his, his, his mouth is watering like when a <laughs> chimpanzee sees big tit magazine <laughs> just like that yeah just like that just like when a chimpanzee <laughs> big tit magazine big t- it's you want to like... see? <laughs> <laughs> you want to see something impressive, huh? Show a great ape some porno. Mm-hmm. More like Dunstan jacks off. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> you know uh, let's get on Wikipedia and change that shit right after this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah uh, so, it's, what's it called again, though? The the Facebook group. Uh, future husbands of Joe Exotic, men only. <laughs> <laughs> men only is in all capitals. Right, right. Um, yeah, are you boys ready to wrap it wrap it up? Oh no, where are we at? Dude? I, what I time do we start? Hour. I don't know. I'm I've got I've got a I've got one in the tank here. I'm uh You got a shit? Oh, I'm holding it, baby. 
Oh, why don't you just bring the laptop in the bathroom with you? I got a, I'm covered in wires and spaghetti down here. <laughs> just covered in cat five conductors, a bunch of ethernet cords. <laughs> it's really, it's pretty, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty clandestine out here in Jackson. I'm uh, doing my best here. <laughs> my man had a uh, micro center bring a dump truck over and just break down the front, the front end of his house and just dump uh, an entire dump trunk fucking barrel of ethernet cables on top of his lap. <laughs> I'm kind of stuck here in this chair. Uh, last time, I, have, I haven't left the chair since I saw you all on, uh, what, Saturday? <laughs> oh, say, oh <laughs> yeah. was that Saturday? I, days are fucked up. Days mean I don't even know. know. Yeah. I feel I like know. I kind of, like, ascended past time and shit. You know, there's right. times I'm awake and there's times I'm sleeping and that's it. You got to keep one of those, <laughs> those prison calendars, dude, with just, like, red fucking chalk on the wall in front of you. Oh, yeah, that's not a bad and then, idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. counters. We've been uh, decorating our calendar uh, here in the the house with uh, just kind of like our day to day, how we've what we've done to stave off insanity, making little COVID pieces of art. So maybe that in a thousand years, underneath the floorboards of this foundation this structure here, it will be found an accurate uh, time capsule of uh, our experience here, if even. This is this may just be the beginning of there may be nothing left, but mm -hmm. they might uh, just walk in and see that pie oh my painting, steal it, step <laughs> on their skeleton and dip right the fuck out. Be like, who cares who is that? Be, that who that kind of be my move, <laughs> yeah. Well, be, no. I'd be taking this cool world poster I got behind me, uh, <laughs> uh, jacking off onto my skeleton and then just hitting the road. I'll be in this Damn. chair, by the way, so I'll be ready to receive. Woo, the old I I down, down, skeleton, I'll just be oh. <laughs> Damn. Well, and then and then I'll give Joey the call like Joey man something happened to Brian we got to rock paper scissors and get yep. over there get that pie oh my Peyton before his family start <laughs> fucking digging in taking what they want <laughs> I like the way you think Vinny I was thinking coin toss as soon as you said rock paper scissors the best Same two boat. out of three best Same way to do bear. it shoot oh we gotta do shoot yeah rock paper scissors shoot. go I do Dude, go, but shoot, shoot rock, paper, scissors, too. shoot is for. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Same thing, though. Same thing, right? Yeah, go and shoot you go is the same go. thing. I'm a go guy. You're you go. a shoot guy. This right. isn't the boys going club. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you going with him? That means like, are you sucking his? Are you sucking his dick? <laughs> are you shooting with him? That's just if you're jacking off with them, like, like a jo bud. Yeah, you're like, oh, sorry, sorry, I was late. I was hanging out with John all night. Uh, study session went a little late, and then your mom's like. Are you, are you going with him? And you're like, Mom? No. No, no Mom. I'm going off with myself. I'm going, I'm going to go off right now. Pornhub <laughs> Premium is free right now, Mom. I got to go off as many times as I can. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I got to go off. I got to go gotta off. Cash in? I mean, that's what you, like, when you dump fucking, uh, when you make like a little volcano out of Play-Doh and you dump a little baking soda, a little fucking vinegar in there, what do you call it? You say that thing's going off. Now, what I does the them, dick do? I call the dick does the same thing. The dick jacking off, that's a chemical reaction of pleasure. I've got a chemical reaction very similar to the Play-Doh and vinegar and baking soda happening, coalescing around the beak of my asshole. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies. <laughs> if, you, if you're listening. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Ladies, President, if you can hear me. Mr. President, if you're listening, my asshole it kind of looks a lot like the flower piranha plant from the Super <laughs> Mario Brothers series. So if you would like to feel something like that with your tongue, here is my number. Uh, thank you for the pain pills, sir. <laughs> you're the best damn president we've ever had, sir. <laughs> now I'm thinking for the next turn, maybe we get the we go with the three script. <laughs> That's ballpark in here, you know. Just three script, three script, three <laughs> script, three script. Give me three script or give me death. Mm -hmm. Don't yeah. tread on me. What do you think John Henry died for, baby? God you know damn what I'm right. saying? You're goddamn right. Mm -hmm. The wrestler? Or no, it's oh. Mark Henry. Well, that is Mark Henry, and he's still alive, <laughs> I think. I don't, I don't think so. Mark, I think Mark Henry. Mark, I think Mark Henry's Mark, alive, bro. I think Mark uh, Henry. Not did. according no, to Wikipedia. When I get no. done with it, 
Oh. Oh. <laughs> You better watch out, man. You're right in front of windows. I don't want you to get sniped out. <laughs> eh, bring them on, baby. I'm going to Dunstan. Right, like, you're doing the right Dunstan thing, Jackson. quitting smoking, because I'm worried about your lungs. But what? you can't be editing these fucking Wikipedia pages in front of a fucking window like that. I'm typing it in as we speak, baby. I live for danger. <laughs> I live up. for it. Uh, what, 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 what the hell was it doing? I don't know. Dumpson and Jack's off. That's right. That's right. Okay. Yeah, cool. there you go. Sorry. Dumpson. Sorry, I totally spaced there for a second. Hey, did you guys ever grow up listening to the Deftones? No, I actually hated the Deftones in, as, a, as a child. Huh. I don't think they I've ever that... heard a song of theirs, but everybody in my high school that has like either beat their girlfriend or had a near overdose on opiates. Mm-hmm. And there's a, there's, a, there's a Venn diagram there, right? There's like... Uh, some crossover <laughs> sure you think so most yeah. of the cops that steal back con- contraband were uh-huh. big deftones fans yeah <laughs> that makes sense i think yeah uh, uh i i know only one song of theirs uh and it's not the worst it's like the and i watched a change in you you know that yeah, one? I, I hated that i hated that chino guy i i Deftones were for pussies, dude. In 2001, 2000, <laughs> if you weren't in a heavy metal band that wore masks and shit, if you weren't mm-hmm. Slipknot and you weren't Mushroom Head, you were faggot straight up. You were faggot well, What about shit. System of a Down? System of a Down, faggot shit. Ooh. Oh. Limp Biscuit, sick because of Wes Borland. Wes Borland put on little <laughs> fucking alien costumes. That's cool shit. That's good had shit. To, had to have yeah. a costume. Clown Posse, cool shit. Right. Dude, did you watch the- Rammstein, um... cool shit. Sure, sure. Did you see the uh, the Slipknot video um, from like 1999? I, I don't know if I sent it into the group chat or not. It's um, it's them walking around Washington D.C. and there's like this like third grade teacher that's like trying to like ignore the fact that all these masked men are like making like jack off symbols towards their eight year old like <laughs> classmates and shit like that. And they're like, uh, these boys are, uh, they're, they're very eccentric. Um, you know, this is what we get coming out of, uh, out of the music scene these days. And they're like, you know, like trying to like introduce them while like, like the, the guy with the nose is like making this like 12 year old girl, like jack off his nose and shit <laughs> like that. And like, how nine nine of these fucking pedophiles just got out of <laughs> Iowa scot free on tour, signing like thirteen year old girls' stomachs and shit, and they all got the mask, not you know anticipating that the internet's coming out and they'll dig right. up fucking Sean's bones in that dumbass clown mask <laughs> to throw his ass in the slammer. You know what I'm saying? Like when, when the chickens come home to roost, when they when they can identify who was in the clown mask. <laughs> Over. Any, any smart rock band, you know, starts out with wearing masks so they can fucking have sex with children and get off scot free. Oh, look it's at the perfect Sarah. crime. Look at look oh. at Paul Stanley. I never considered that. That makes total sense. Well, well, yeah, yeah. P- Peter like Chris look cute. What? He, Peter, Peter Kiss? Chris, yeah, Peter Peter <laughs> Kiss looked cute as like a little kitty cat, but he didn't look so cute when he was looking an eight year old pussy. Oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> not so cute there that ain't no cutie pretty kitty or nothing like that <laughs> do you think he used the litter box cleaning himself Ooh, in, the, in, in the courthouse <laughs> like in a full <laughs> suit with the cat makeup yeah. on <laughs> <laughs> he takes a he sees shits and pisses in a box next to the bailiff like that <laughs> <laughs> Kicks glitter all over the <laughs> floor. Clearly, my that, client uh, believes he's a cat. <laughs> he has like a little ball of yarn to like play with. <laughs> sit and, and, you, you know what? If I was at Carol Baskins, because you know her business is completely fucking shot. Her big cat rescue. You know the oh, bitch yeah. that fed her husband to the tiger. Yeah. Like if she wants to drum drum up some business, get people coming back into her scam house or whatever. She should get uh, Peter Chris in full makeup, put him in a cage, and you get to, like, feed him rabbit pellets. <laughs> okay. You would, lo- would love that. That's, yeah, I would go check it out. His whole life. What about one of those, like, those squeezy treats, those stinky treats with the tuna fish in them? You know oh, the, yeah, the squeezy for cats? Yeah, yeah what if you a- could get in the lick one of those out of your hands? That would be incredible. <laughs> 
Are they called? They're called stinkies for cats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a little gogurt filled with tuna. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. It's like gogurt. It, they they oh. smell fucking horrendous, but it's an amazing <laughs> bonding experience with your cat or Peter Chris or Peter Chris. <laughs> <laughs> I got to get on the horn with her. Like, look, I can save your business, lady, and I don't give a fuck who you fed the what. Fucking, right? I, I, I'm all business, dude. I think in dollar signs. I don't think in morals. I don't think in right and wrong. <laughs> fucking, I think of the prizes. Since day one, I've thought about the prizes. Consequences, forget about it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's get Peter Chris. We'll get him in a cage. We'll have go-gurt treats, and you can feed him by hand. <laughs> He's going to be wearing $5. full gear. Fucking covered in leather. Hot Florida <laughs> summer. <laughs> uh, South Carolina. Wait, no. No, no, he's in Florida. Florida he's in Tampa Bay. Uh, Florida. We're right, going to get right. Peter Chris stationed up in a cage in Tampa Bay. Ooh, <laughs> baby. Peter Chris Miller. Mm. Oh, oh, we're oh, I like now that. We're talking. I like that. We got to pitch that to him. We're going to have to pitch that to him. That's yeah. perfect for him. Yeah, actually. Yeah. <laughs> right? Uh, cat fanatic. <laughs> Uh, s- submissive, perfect. Hmm. <laughs> splendid, <laughs> cool. splendid. Uh. Oh, toke up, toke up, toke up, toke yeah. up. Yeah, yeah, there may be eight in there. A little sign oh. of the ganja. Yeah. You think it's been an hour? Before? All right. You think it's been like an hour oh, and a half? Yeah. You think it's been like two hours? I can't tell. I have no sense of time or space. This yeah, is no. where the prison calendar would come in handy, dude. Right. Fuck, yeah. I haven't, yeah. I, I, I haven't been looking at clocks throughout no, the quarantine. No, I didn't set a timer either. No. No? You just throw in, like, your bread and – you ba- you're baking bread, right? Are you all baking bread? Uh, ch- my girlfriend is. She's making banana Perfect. bread. We have, we have, we're fully stocked. We have a ton of rotten bananas. <laughs> delicious <laughs> um yeah yeah i think I, I think this is a good this is a good spot yeah Wrap her up. yeah this is a good spot yeah are you just trying to get out of it to go shit i do have to shit real bad <laughs> but i think it's been about an hour and a half i don't know <laughs> oh. for the I'm patreon, in, yo. <clears throat> patreon oh. I, ex- I expect you to do what me and joey are doing we're wearing diapers Mm-hmm. Uh, you know what? I've a surprise for you. Uh, if you do come over and meet me in uh, Animal Crossing, uh, very much related to uh, diapers. You, know you got some saying? diaper for me on that island? I got something for you, baby. Are you guys breeding animals? Yeah, uh, no, he, people. He what? Means, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you gotta, you gotta get on this game. Yeah. Um, we're be- breeding children. To create more children, babies having babies. I think it go right me? on a list as soon as you buy that game, though. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Is it you just me, saying? or did uh, the Tiger King make make breeding tigers seem like a very simple science and almost innocent? Kinda, like, yeah. He was the just victim was crime things. almost. They were just right. popping those cubs out of a tiger's pussy, and just like you know, he had like one of those fucking claw machine fucking things, just rip them out, and you know, he just mm-hmm. this is five grand, baby, right here. <laughs> for seven months and then i gotta throw it in the incinerator well you get the well you get the undertaker to go pick up the bodies yeah <laughs> Chokes like that thing right in the incinerator you know you know we don't gotta that go is, through it again no, no. <laughs> they wanna know how, how all these exotic guys get rid of their fucking tigers when they become teenagers you gotta you gotta sign up for the patreon Sign up for the $1 Patreon. Dollar a month entry fee, y'all. What Woo. you can blow your nose with that money. All right. True. As they say. Okay. As they say. What grass with that money. That's true. Hey. Oh, we're going mm. into PG thirteen. You wipe your shitty cum encrusted asshole with that money. There you go. There yeah. you go, baby. That's more of the styley. Little T V fourteen now. We, we yeah. pump it up. <laughs> <laughs> little Buffy the Vampire Slayer. <laughs> yeah. yeah, dude, you know. Little uh, um, Ally McBeal. Oh, oh, I, love, I love that baby. The one that yeah, me too. I do too. I do too. I had it on my GeoCities website. Y'all, I used to send yeah. that out it looked like as an email attachment. First yeah. baby's first emails, man. Yeah. <laughs> Good old days, dude. Oh. 
I do love that baby. I wonder if you yeah. can get that in Animal Crossing yet. Uh, yeah, you just gotta, you know, scan the QR code, scan the, scan it in. <laughs> <laughs> so Ally McBeal was a lawyer or a waitress? Law- no, I don't lawyer. know. No idea. <laughs> I only know the baby that dances. Hey, huh. hey. She, she was a lawyer. Oh, okay. She was a lawyer. Yeah. Maybe yeah. we'll have to have like a little group, like a, like a boys shooting club discord viewing where we all watch Ally McBeal. Um, that would be, a, that'd be great. Yeah. I haven't seen it in years. Yeah, let's do it. I'm all for it. Okay. I'm going to pass. I don't know. <laughs> like, you out? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah. It, when you get to the baby scene, you know, call me up. I'll check that out. Yeah, but yeah, other yeah. than that, I have no interest in like a broad, a professional broad. No, nah, not for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. Then I'll get you, I'll get you, get you ready to go when the baby shows up. Yeah, yeah, I got my phone on. I got it on. I took it off vibrate. Uh-huh. So I'll get a ringtone. Uh, <laughs> when that what baby song does the up. baby dance to? Can you put that song? Could that you put your ringtone as that song for me when I call now? What I'll, song I'll the dance baby. does the baby dance to? I have no idea. Is it Conga from Gloria Stefan? I want to say it's like <laughs> Estefan. I think it's like Lou Vega. <laughs> no. Uh, I did. I, I was uh, at the gas station the other day. And I did hear a crackhead. Like she was like buying liquor at two in the afternoon. And she was uh, humming Lou Vega's Mambo number five. Uh, really <laughs> loud. It was just like. <laughs> and it got this life. Twice. Nice. And I was like, man, this pandemic is awesome. <laughs> this pandemic is really fucking it's letting the people out letting the people do what they they're really fucking expressing themselves and you know it's really uh releasing the true artisanship that lives inside of all of our souls that are bogged down due to having to be on the front lines of the grocery stores and the fucking in the war against covid19 <laughs> Fuck you, give me a blowjob. Fuck you, give me a blowjob. Fuck you, give me a blowjob. A little bratty. Right, hold on, I, I got, I got the, I got the, I got the baby dancing scene on. All right, let's hear it. Now, you, now you don't have to pop into any of the marathon. Lucky you. All right, I don't hear anything okay. yet. Okay. Yeah. Apparently, the baby dances to the um the background music of uh, the lobby in Modern Warfare, Call of Duty. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I knew I recognized it from somewhere. That thing's really going. That thing's working yeah. a fucking jive. That thing's grooving. <laughs> cool. <laughs> seeing this? You seeing this fucking baby? That is fucking, that is the best CGI we've ever had. It was at the time. I saw Toy Story 1. I was in fourth grade. I said, this movie looks like shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember the time baby on the phone. I remember seeing <laughs> Buzz Lightyear, the, like the first rendering, the first movie. I, I said, this is fucking horrific. In like 20 years, man, we're going to have better. We're going to have Ratatouille. This is going to look so much fucking better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> what, the, the baby? <laughs> oh that's yeah the, it's that's uh, what the baby's doing yeah it's uh uh phil oh Spectre, it is oh no, uh philip glass no uh uh oh can't remember what that guy's name is guy I who, like the uh, way the baby like does this over its nipples yeah it's tenderizing him so this business lawyer's kind of is now did this baby like die in her pussy Yes. Like, did she miscarriage mm-hmm. this thing? Like, what is what is going on with it? It was a, a third trimester abortion. Oh, so, okay. Uh, okay. It it peaked out, it crowned, and and then it just began to dance. His soul began <laughs> to dance. Uh-huh. Like that Zach Wild song. Y'all remember that Zach Wild song, Stillborn? Oh uh, no! It was Could on the radio it? for a long time. I was like ten years old, and I was like, this song fucking rules. It's probably about like. Like drinking Mountain Dew and like riding ATVs with like your up north cousins and shit, and then it's like that song's about like you know a a, a, a dead baby inside of a, a a woman, you know, giving birth wow. to a baby's corpse. And I was like, oh, that's was it? Was it him? Like, was he a stillborn? Zach? Uh, I think Zaz Wild? 
I, yeah, I think I think he was like saying like, "Oh my God, I'm so bored. This is must be what a stillborn feels like." Yeah. You know, oh. I mean, like that kind of thing. That's how Shooters. I'm feeling. Shooters, if uh, you have a coworker, you know, she's out a few days, she comes back, says she had a miscarriage, <laughs> ask her, like, did you dance with it at least? <laughs> <laughs> Give her a card with a, with a holographic version of the dancing baby. Yeah and, yeah. and inside of it, a small thumb drive with Zach Wilde's stillborn song. There you go. The only, yeah. only file on it. Damn. And Sorry. the dancing baby gift. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, you can, yeah. So, yeah. You, you, you have to should, have <laughs> You should add your coworker on Facebook and like every day uh, send the gif of that baby dancing onto her timeline. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a good idea. That's to remind me why we need Medicare for all. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. That's, that's probably a good spot damn. to wrap it up, all boys. Sure. Oh, Can we wrap yeah. it? I love it. I'm uh I'm I'm already halfway to the toilet. I actually I should just modify this this chair into <laughs> so I just shit directly into it. Could save uh save a lot of money. On yeah. water. And time. And toilet paper, because I could just use the surrounding fabric on it. <laughs> rub my ass against to, cl- to <laughs> clean. Definitely, definitely come in handy so you never have to leave a lobby of Call of Duty. Oh, it feels really good. Get in there. Oh. <laughs> oh, clean. Finally clean. <laughs> mm. 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 <laughs> uh, yeah, but uh, what, we'll be back uh, for the Patreon episode yeah, Patreon. Uh, Friday, Saturday. Patreon for, Friday. The, for the real act of fucking shooters. The act of shooters, right. the Patreon. That'll be out Friday or Saturday, whenever we can get together to do this shit. Yeah, and, yeah, uh, yeah, one of them for sure. Right. Yeah. Next week uh, for for the uh, for for the public uh, consumption. The welfare pod. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, till then, <laughs> uh, you can find uh, me at uh, an Instagram as Count Caligula. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> you can find me at Lion Ghoul Man. Uh, at Stolen Valor 420 on Activision. Uh, join up with the future husbands of Joe Exotic on <laughs> Facebook. Uh, mm-hmm. Patreon.com slash Boys Shooting Club. Boys Shooting Club on Instagram. BS Club Pod on Twitter. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, and yo, once again, uh, not to sound like a broken record, but big ups to the premium shooters out there once again. They are responsible for us being able to bring you this welfare content, even though yes. we're all in our own quarantine. True, so, true. Know, yeah, this this whole in seven years when you guys are pouring one out for them, and we're all remembering this holiday, you got to thank them specifically. True, you know? that and grocery store employees. Yeah, mm-hmm. grocery store employees and our Patreon subscribers. Yeah, yeah, the <laughs> only real heroes left. <laughs> and some podcasters. And some. In fact, if you see like a guy wearing an army outfit at the mall when this all clears up, just spit on his boots. Tell him, look, I know real heroes and they subscribe to a Patreon for a podcast called Boys Shooting Club. (laughs) (laughs) Maybe have like a a GIF queued up on your phone at all times of the American flag burning. (laughs) Well, I'm two steps ahead of you here, boys. (laughs) <laughs> I'm pulling that shit up right now. I'm gonna go yeah, jack get that, off get that shit. Get that shit saved and put it in your favorite. So if you run into a troop, you can, you can, you know, just like, oh, one second. Nope, nope. I got something to show you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Man, even through okay. kayfabe, I can't disrespect the country. I just, I sit here, I, I smile, I nod, I, I keep the bit going. I, I say, nice work, fellas. But like me myself. I'm I'm Kurt Angle with the religion. Do you know what I'm mm. saying? It's like mm-hmm. I walk into ECW, I see, I see Jesus Christ strung up in a makeshift promo. I go, hey, fuck this clown shit. Look, I'd love to cash <laughs> in. I love the money. Keep paying me by all means. But 
you know. <laughs> Fate worse than death thinking of that fucking flag dragon on the ground, dude. <laughs> Carrying all 60, all 60 feet in length, dude. You better wrap that sucker up. I don't care if it's 112 degrees in the garage, motherfucker, before you <laughs> That God shit damn. better be folded. 60 feet, that is a hog of a flag. Bro, you ever open a flag? I have, I have. I you... have. And I folded them like that, too. It's like the... You ever sent one soaring? I've sent one soaring before, bro. No, I was I was a safety in oh, fourth wait, grade. Maybe, yeah, no, I got I got way. I got to help put hoist up the flag under the pole. Holy uh, shit, bro! <laughs> Y'all, we can do that, guys. We can oh we can God. go do that. Just like just like paying the extra forty five dollars at the Detroit Zoo to feed the giraffes, same fucking adrenaline pumping through that vein, <laughs> oh, putting that flag up there. <laughs> Dude, I, I know it'll be stealing a little valor, but I think we're going to have to pop onto the YouTube after this and see some videos just to get a little, like, firsthand experience. Fre know? Freshman year of high school, the day at, like, 9-12, I went to school early so I could be the one to lower the, the flag to half mass. Nice. Smart. <laughs> you are a patriot. The first one, first one on <laughs> campus. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, you don't, under, you don't understand, I Mr. Nauber. I need to honor the lives lost yesterday. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But that was like that, that would have been your double agent dates, right? Because you would have been up all night uh dunking on them on the forums. Sure, no, I was making no. a mockery of it online for sure. Day then, of. <laughs> then you come back in and you're like, nope. Day of on pleasure. The message boards, just like what a bunch of fucking retards. Ah, yeah. nah, nah, nah. <laughs> But then waking up, putting your fucking boots on one lace at a time, just like anybody else, going there. First one in line to fucking salute the troops. Yep, I, yep, I yep. can't thank you enough, Benny. Hey, you know, I do what I can. You know, I, I, had, to, I had to do it for Crestwood High School. Dearborn <laughs> Heights, Michigan. I had to make it happen. Damn. Big you ups. Know, Due to that claim, claim to fame, I, I would try to edit myself into a uh, notable alumni of Crestwood High School. <laughs> Son of a bitch, my own homie, you fucking wouldn't let it fly. Fucking, I would change, I would change, I'd add my name to it, hit save, and then I would see the red laser fucking come in above, above my forehead. I'd see it shining <gasps> into the window. <laughs> Bro, what you got to do now is you got to start combing. Oh. Now that you're much taller, you're much more intimidating. You got the facial hair, and you know, you can legally smell like alcohol. You got to start combing the parking lot and intimidating whoever's working at the yearbook to put you in there as notable alumni. Sure. And that way you can like cement your legacy there on the front, you know, on the front lines. And they're like, especially if they get a picture of you currently. <laughs> right. Like, who, right. Who is, who is this fellow? They're like, you raised the flag to half mass on September 12th. You know what? Yeah. This whole thing is making me realize who's really hurting in this whole this whole COVID coronavirus mess. Fucking all these kids that have been planning school shootings to carry out this year. Boy. Right. The true victims there. The true victims, <laughs> man. These fucking would-be shooters. Fucking sad, Tragedy. man. Fucking sad. <laughs> <laughs> So All many right, kids, boys. so many oh. kids are not going to get their day in the sun. <laughs> it's fucking bullshit, oh, man. There's always next year, you know. Yep. There's 2021. We're going to see right. some big kaboomies. <laughs> shooting some big. Ra -da 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 We're coming back shooting hard in 2021. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you know, guys, this just isn't my year. Next year, next year, you should watch out. <laughs> <laughs> it's just this one's just not my year. This just isn't my. But for year. real though, for real though, for when real. I I give you the message, stay alert for next year. You know? <laughs> but but this one's not. This ain't the one. No. Uh, <laughs> Damn, it looks comfortable in there, Tucky. It's not so bad. I'm I'm, I'm sweating, but I you know I ain't hurting. <laughs> I ain't squirting. I'm hurting, but I ain't squirting. You know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. <laughs> it's you're actually milk. falling victim to sophisticated Roman torture right now by us not I'm ending so, the podcast. I'm, I'm struggling, <laughs> boys. We got a oh, couple see, of Romans right here. You can see the sweat just beating up underneath me here. <laughs> I'm, I'm quivering. Go shit, baby. I'm Go going shit, shit yo. No, we're we're gonna wrap up the pod.
Uh, have a good couple of days, everybody. We'll see you this weekend for the the p- 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 Patreon active, active <laughs> shooters, active shooters. That's right, because we're picking up. Uh, we're picking up, 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 picking up uh, stutters. Uh, <laughs> while we're on, uh, so I'll Hell give you yeah. an update on my shit when I'm done, y'all. All right, Thanks. we'll have some news about that. Fucking this weekend on the Patreon. Stay totally. safe. Wash your hands. Wash or your. Don't. Who cares? Brush your teeth. Brush your teeth. Yeah, 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 yeah. You definitely want to do fucking that. Cereal. Don't do what I did and eat chocolate in bed and then go to sleep for like six months. <laughs> oh <I> got, <laughs> shit! Yeah, you know those sleep candies I was praising. Like, dude, I'm falling asleep. Like, no problem now. Oh. Repercussions. These things feel like that's just tin foil. Every time candy or something sweet touches, it's like tin foil just wrapping around like a cavity filler, dude. It's fucked oh, up. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck, dude. You poor thing. Uh, all right, fellas. All right. Goodbye.